So you want a concealer? Okay. Did you want it for under your eyes or did you want it for your whole face? Whole face? Okay. I think hmm, this one will work. Girl, where are them pimples at? Oh, that one little tiny half of a millimeter of a pimple on your forehead. Let's be honest, I wouldn't even consider that a pimple. That may or may not be a true story um, that happened a couple days ago. I love my job. I love making people feel good about their skin. I love joking around with people um, and, you know, making them feel better about the issue that they think is such a big deal. But really, in reality, when another person is looking at them, they're like, um, actually, no, like your skin is perfect. Like you have one little tiny pimple and you're buying a whole concealer for that pimple. She bought the concealer and she was happy. <laughs> That's besides the point. Anyways, moving on. Today's video is going to be a haul video because I recently went and bought a lot of stuff, mostly at Sephora. Um, a couple other things that I wanted to share just because I think they're fun and I bought them the other day. Um, but other than that, most of it is makeup. So let's get on to the video. We are going to start with the love of my life right now. As you can see, I have a pretty, you know, full face of makeup on right now. It's not heavy, it's not thick, it's not dry, it's not cakey, it's more dew dewy and like luminous. Um, I have really, really dehydrated skin, so I don't like heavy, thick foundations. I don't think anybody really likes heavy, thick foundations, but my skin just doesn't look the smoothest if it has a medium or a heavy foundation on it. So I've been in love with the Laneige, the Laneige BB cream, BB cushion. I have had this guy for about two and a half, half, two and a half months now, and I've been obsessed. I have the light, ew, you can kind of see, I've used it really well. Um, this is the light one. It comes with the cushion, you open it up, you do the little dance, um, yeah, dance it on your face, it's honestly just amazing. Like I just, it gives you like a nice medium coverage. If you have acne, I would say it might not be good for you. Um, if you just have a few spots, like um, uneven redness, uneven skin tone, it's perfect for you. I have a few acne scars up on my cheeks that it doesn't cover 100%, but then I go in with a concealer and try to cover that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I use this every day. It has SPF 50 in it. I am in love with this guy. I sell this guy like a bad, bad drug um, at work. I love sharing my love for Laneige at work with my clients. Nine out of 10 people that I show, they fall in love with it too. When I apply it to their skin, it just looks beautiful. Again, it's not for a full glam look. It's for like an everyday, a medium coverage. Um, then you can go in with your concealer and make it more glam if you want to, which is what I do. Speaking of concealer, um, I did go ahead and purchase the Laneige BB Cushion or concealer. Um, I got the one in the, there's two shades, there's a yellow and a pink shade. I got the yellow shade because um, it's lighter. Mm, I've only used it once. I like it, it's a good concealer. Again, it's nice and moisturizing. Can you see? This is the Laneige um, concealer. It doesn't come close to my love affair with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Um, I also went ahead and repurchased it. I had the Chantilly one before, but now I went and got the vanilla one because it's a little bit less white. And um, I wanted that dramaticness before, but now I want something a little bit more realistic. I don't know. Um, and I got the shade Vanilla. I mean, you you all know what the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer looks like. I mean, people talk about it all the time, so I'm not gonna dwell on that guy. The next love of my life happens to be Hourglass. Hourglass, the company it, as a whole, is like probably my number one company altogether. It probably goes like Hourglass, Laneige, NARS is somewhere there, around, in between, um, Cap Von D, and that's probably like my love affair right now. Um, but the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders are to die for. I already have the three, the trio, um, so I didn't get the Christmas collection, which I really wanted, but I had the trio, I had the bronzer that's in it, I have the one of the blushes that are, that's in it, so there's no point in me getting the trio, even though I really wanted it. Um, but I settled for just getting the Diffuse Light, which is the lightest shade in the, in the holiday palette. Um, and now I've been using this as like an all over like setting powder. There's nothing bad to say about Hourglass. I love Hourglass. Who doesn't like, who doesn't love Hourglass? Who doesn't love Hourglass? I know you look at it and I know like with some clients, I'm like, 
I always make the joke, I'm like, yeah, you look at this and it looks sparkly and you're like, there's no way that kid is putting this on my face. And I'm like, just trust me, I'm gonna put it on, you're gonna fall in love with it, and then you're gonna spend a good amount of money on it. But it's gonna last you forever because literally, it lasts a long time. Um, and it makes your skin, it does mattify you a little bit, but it gives you that like, that J-Lo glow, like that radiant, like, I don't even know, like satiny, like, I mean, you can see my face right now, it's just glowing glowing for the gods so then i finally did it you guys i finally finally did it like i did it like i just was like okay i'm gonna do it and then i did it and i've done it and it's done and i'm loving it what did i do might you ask i bought the beauty blender now this was the the pack and it comes with the two beauty blenders a pink one and a black one which i already am using i use it to apply my concealer today and I love it to apply my concealer. Um, I don't use it for my Laneige because the Laneige already comes with a BB cushion. Um, but I love it for concealer. I had used like a knockoff brand of the Beauty Blender before and it just is not good, you know? So I just kind of kicked the, the blending sponge to the curb for like the longest time. And ever since working at my new job, people are like, oh my God, the Beauty Blender, the Beauty Blender, the Beauty Blender, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So. I bought it. Anyways, this was a good deal. It was $50 for all three, and when usually one is like 26, I think. Um, and yeah, it's just cute. It's good. I love it. I love it way more than the knockoff sponge that I used before. Don't do the knockoff sponge. Don't do it. Invest. Invest in the real deal, or else you are going to be sad. You're not going to be happy, and then you're going to knock off sponges for a long time, and then you are going to be behind on the wagon, and you want to be on the trends, don't you? Don't you wanna be cool? Don't you wanna be like in with the in crowd? <laughs> okay, so the last two things, um, I repurchased the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff. There's only one complaint that I have about this. I love it, it texturizes your hair, it gets rid of all um, the oil, like it's amazing, it's beautiful. The scent, it's not a bad scent, but it's a strong scent, and it lasts for quite a while, but I love it so much that I can withstand the scent and spray it on my head anyways. This, though, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana shampoo, I was gifted, and it doesn't do as much with the oil and like the, the texture and stuff as the Living Proof does, but it, and even though this one <laughs> is a scented, it's, um, you know, a perfume, like a scented dry shampoo, it doesn't linger as long as the other one. It smells good, it doesn't linger as long as the other one, and um, it, yeah. So like, I don't know which one I love better because this one does a better job of like drying and texturizing, but this one doesn't linger. So I love them both. Good story. So that was all from Sephora. Moving on, I went to the body shop. This um, chamomile silky cleansing oil is something that I've been buying and I bought for like years and years and years. And I love this stuff. Like I just, I love it. And I bought two more recently because it was like buy two, get one free. And then I got this bath pillow for free because I haven't had a nice good bath pillow in a while. So I got one of those and I'm excited to use that in my bath. And then the last thing that you guys probably don't care about, it is getting mighty freaking cold here in Canada, so I decided to purchase a new scarf to keep me warm. And I love this one because it is from Forever 21. It was um, relatively inexpensive, and it is this like burnt orange kind of color. It's not maroon, it's not like ready, it's more orangey, which I was gonna go for the maroon one, but then I decided, you know, orange is my favorite color, so I should have something orange in my life. And because I wear more neutral colors on a daily basis, I figured that I could wear this with like anything, except for the maroon shirt that I was wearing the day that I bought it. Well, that's okay, because it clashed and nobody said a thing, so we're just gonna pretend like it worked. So yeah, that is it for my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, oh, itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. I hope you guys are having a good day. Don't forget to subscribe, um, follow my Instagram stuff below, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. It's hard to hold all these things at once.